I don't know if addicts have more of a problem with anger and depression than non-addicts do. I do know that addicts have a lot of uh, problems that are exacerbated by their uh, substance use. And so anger and depression are two of those things that can be made worse uh, by substance abuse. And addicts also just uh, in general, um, especially, well, let's stick with alcohol for a moment. You know, alcohol is a great lubricant for anger. Um, and some of the other drugs that people use are great uh, sort of sublimators of anger. And so what happens to the addict then is that they have a, a, an anger mismanagement problem. Um, and then when it comes to depression, uh, early recovery can actually look a lot like depression. Um, the end of one's drinking or the end of one's using can look like depression and it can actually be a full-blown clinical depression. Uh, so one of the problems that addicts have is in the beginning of their recovery, it's often hard for a while to tease out um, the, you know, what's the depression, what's the substance abuse. And so people who are not addicts, I don't have that problem with. You know, when, if they're not, substance abuse is not part of the problem, then I can see where the anger management problems are. I can see where the depression is. I can, you know, it's just sort of that's, it, it's much easier to uncover um, with the uh, non-addict clients. So with addicts, it's, um, it's, a, it's a longer, harder road in teasing it out and being able to treat you know, the anger, treat the depression, treat the uh, other elements of the addiction. And so that's where the problem lies. It's not necessarily that they have more problems with these things. It's that um, the substance abuse really complicates the picture.